listen. It's time for License to Practice by IELTS Medical. Hello and welcome to another episode of Licence to Practice from IELTS Medical. Today we're going to be talking to a UK registered doctor who's been living and working here for the last two years. So let's give him a call. Hello, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. How are you today? Uh, Hello. Yeah, I'm doing good. How about you? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Um, so, like I said, thank you so much for coming on. Obviously, we're going to talk a little bit today about yourself and your experience of moving over um, to the UK and to practice in the UK. So, would you be able to start by just telling us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, first of all, thank you very much. It's a pleasure, it's an mm-hmm. honour talking to you. Oh. My name is Mohammed Imran yeah. and I'm working as a cardiac physician for the last one year here in the UK. I graduated in 1997 from the city yeah, located in Pakistan. Since then I have started my clinical practice and simultaneously I finished my post graduation from Royal College of Physicians, London. Wow. A couple of years ago I relocated myself here for exposure and experience Mm -hmm. in my field. So you've been here for two years? Uh, Yeah, Yeah. I'm here for the last two years Mm -hmm. and I have I've been working I started working uh, since last June. Okay that's yeah. it yeah right so obviously you've said uh, you've given us a little bit of the reason as to why you came over to the UK would you be able to expand on that and just talk a little bit more about why you chose the UK to come to yeah uh, for we international doctors mm-hmm. like me mm-hmm. there are many benefits uh, to furthering our medical career here in the UK such as work experience with one of the world's la- largest healthcare system. Yeah. One of the best quality training and develop development including opportunities to gain specialties mm-hmm. in uh, affiliated with UK Royal College qualifi- qualification. Yeah. And to access groundbreaking research and opportunity to experience living and working in the UK. Yeah developing new skills and benefits introduced to new ways of working Mm -hmm. and a diverse multicultural population with a well range of uh, health needs. Not only not only is the UK attractive to overseas doctors, but the UK publicly funded healthcare system that is national healthcare system Mm -hmm. known as NHS really relies upon international doctors to bridge skills, shortage gaps mm-hmm. and to meet the high demands of its services. Yeah, Even absolutely. today, 26.3% of doctors licensed to practice by GMC graduated in an international community and a further 10.7% of doctors obtained their medical uh, education in EEA countries outside the UK. Oh wow! So yeah, so this is the reason that I I tried I, I tried and finally I moved towards the UK. Yeah, and so how have the last two years been? Are you enjoying them? Oh yeah, I yeah. think I'm I'm very well settled in my yeah. field, and I'm I'm one of the lucky person who got the job in 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 the field of my my experience which I am practicing for the last 20 years yeah that is yeah that is very lucky yeah yeah that's that's really good for you isn't it Um, and so did you have that job um before you moved here did you already have that job secured yes yeah thanks for asking actually uh I got this job offer in 2015 okay since yeah when I was working in, in in the Middle East so since mm-hmm. then, I was I was trying to to relocate myself, mm-hmm. but you know, there are some prerequisites and some there are some you know rules we need to follow, and the 
most important is GMC registration and the, yeah. the cornerstone is language exam which is I think most of most of the doctors or healthcare workers those who are coming towards the UK they yes. found yeah, yeah they, they found it difficult as I found it difficult as well yeah I think so I think that's the thing that people seem to find the most difficult so obviously exactly. the, there are two of those IELTS and OET and you went with OET is that right uh, yeah I tried IELTS earlier mm-hmm. as I told you in 2015 yeah I was working on that so I went for the IELTS to be honest mm-hmm. but it didn't work okay because yeah it didn't work and in 2018 February if I'm not wrong uh, OET OET was, was was announced and then I went for the preparation of OET because it, it, it was it was a very much new exam and mm-hmm. it was much focused and easy for a healthcare professional. Yeah, it's specific, isn't it, OET to healthcare yeah. and whereas IELTS is, is more generic. So did you, yeah. is that something that you found um, better about the OET? You preferred that it was specific for healthcare workers? Exactly, despite of the fact that there are number of similarities between mm-hmm. between the two exams, but neither exam is easier than the other one yeah. from, a lingu- from, from a linguistic perspective. Both IELTS 7.5 and OET grade B Mm-hmm. show that one has advanced level in English. Yes. However, I found OET simpler to understand as it is healthcare oriented and test the language which I use in my daily practice. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. For yeah. most people, IELTS is definitely the better choice as it covers most countries and mm-hmm. provides with a better understanding of complete completing English. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, as a healthcare professional, the OET could be better option, as in my case, because it contains profession specific content. Yeah. So this was the this was the basic reason I went for the OET. Although I have got both choice, choices in front of me. Are you an overseas qualified doctor who would like to take the first step of registration with the GMC? Well, one way to do that is by achieving four grade Bs on the Occupational English Test. OET is a language exam with an emphasis on real situations UK medical staff encounter on a daily basis. Here at IELTS Medical, we have qualified native English OET trained tutors who are ready, willing and able to provide you with the best learning experience. We've seen lots of EU and overseas qualified doctors through to a first time OET pass and we'd like to do the same for you. Inquire today about how we can assist you too. Yes, yeah. That's it's really it's good actually to hear someone that's done both um explain that. It makes a difference I think if you've tried both because you've given obviously the pros and cons to both of them there you know you're not yeah that's I think that's really good advice really good knowledge to pass on um to people that want to do it and and on that note do you have um any other advice for um aspiring UK medics that might be thinking about um coming over and getting registered over here oh I think I'm no one to advise them (laughs) but 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 for healthcare professionals those who want to pursue their career here in the UK if they have decided already then it's never too late yeah most of us are already uh, already in in the process of and most of them are already near the finishing line yeah so they need to take few more steps towards their success yeah but here here i will take the opportunity to say thanks to ielts medical oh. because yeah because I I will guess I, I will I will just pay all this credit to 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 complete my language exam to IELTS Medical because you people made it possible for me and I would highly recommend IELTS Medical for healthcare professionals for for those who are who are really struggling to finish their English language exam mm-hmm. to complete their registration. 
in in any of any of the authority like GMC or nursing nursing council because I'm one of the example in front of them. Yeah. I tried hard with IELTS, but when things came to OET, mm-hmm. definitely I I finished that in a go, and that is all made possible because of IELTS Medical. Thank you very much, IELTS Medical. Oh, but well, that's lovely. Well, I mean, on behalf of IELTS Medical, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, nice talking to you. Yeah, you as well. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you very um, much. You've given so some really good advice there. there. Um, okay, oh, thank you. Enjoy okay. the rest of your day. And you, take care, stay safe and healthy. Yeah, thank you. Speak to bye you bye. later. Bye. Bye. And there we go. Got an insight to the OET and IELTS from somebody that's studied for both of those. And so that's a really interesting perspective to have. And hopefully he's inspired a few of you as well. Thank you so much for listening. As always, to your success.